That's Charisse. Everybody knows that Charisse, right? And you know the buzz about Charisse was that she had Botox. We don't we we know for certain that she may have had Botox to get ready for an appearance on Glee. Nearly 5 million people in the U.S. got those shots last year. Almost 30% were under the age of 30. That's your headline, folks. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to discuss whether there is cause con for concern in those numbers. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. It, were you a little surprised to hear that? A little bit, but yeah. you know, we're seeing, I'm seeing this in my practice, not just with Botox, but with all types of cosmetic or aesthetic plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. It is infiltrating, pardon the pun, the younger age demographic. Right. And I think anytime you see 18 year olds looking to cosmetic surgery, right. there is cause is for Is there concern. such a thing as too young for Botox? Well, the FDA has approved its use for cosmetic or therapeutic indications mm -hmm. in the age group of 18 to 65. So most reputable cosmetic dermatologists and plastic surgeons will not consider it below age 18. Right, and what, let's look back at these numbers again in terms of how many people are doing it and who's doing it. Tremendously popular. When you look at how it breaks down, 0.2% of those who had Botox were actually in the 13 to 19 year wow. old age group. Wow. So obviously outside of the FDA indication, mm -hmm. about 26% were in their 20s. So again, wow. this adds up to about 27%. It's a huge chunk of the Botox users and are how quite do you, young. How do we account for the, uh, for the increase? Well, listen, I think that when you talk about Botox, it can be very helpful for certain people into mm -hmm. reducing fine lines. There's a sweeping trend, kind of an undercurrent thinking that if you hit those wrinkle areas before they actually have time to form, right. you're literally preventing wrinkling, which is one part of the oh, aging process. Okay. And for some people, that's obviously... So if that's out there sort of as, as part of the popular conversation, people exactly. are going to say, I'm going to do this now so I don't have to do it right. later or I can continue to augment it over time, right? right? Okay. Okay, is there, are there any literal long-term benefits for people who would do this at an early age? There aren't thought to be, you know, in terms of medical long-term side right. effects or consequences right now, and it is thought to be safe both for cosmetic use and therapeutic use. I think the greater concern here is when you talk about teenagers or very young women in their 20s mm -hmm. really seeking to prevent the signs of aging, you have to ask yourselves, what is their definition of beauty? And I think right. we need to be teaching our teenagers that wow. beauty comes from within, as does health. It's not always so superficial. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and aren't you more beautiful at 30 than you are at 18 usually? And 40 better than 30, and well, 50 better than 40. Yeah. I, uh, now, are there any, uh, you know, we haven't had, the, talk, had this conversation in a long time. Are there any general Botox things to be worried about? I well, mean, for the years ago, when it first came on, people were like, oh my God, my face is going to freeze and it'll never change. This, this procedure, like any, it has its known side effects right. and basically you can have a droop of the nerve usually when it's given on the upper forehead uh -huh. if it's not given properly uh, it can cause your eyelid to droop there can be some bruising at, at the area so with anything you want to go to someone who knows what they're doing and, and does it all the time and very quickly if you do go and get the procedure if what, what would be a warning sign for something that it hasn't turned out right well, again, if your eye, one eyelid is closed, that's probably a bad <laughs> sign. But, you know, we have to remember there are people who should not consider using it. And obviously, pregnant women, ah, women who are breastfeeding and those good. prone to neurologic conditions should that's stay right. clear of Botox yeah. and recognize their inner beauty. If you look like a pirate, you got a problem. That's All right. right. Dr. Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer Ashton, thank you.